We're back down in uh, Palma Nova today just for a short video and we've come specifically to the Globales uh, Hotel Palma Nova and um, the reason we've come down is because Jackie wrote to me and said um, how far is it if you walk to the beach but instead of going the way we usually go uh, we go down through the streets, the back streets and past the Golf Fantasia so best way to find out is to go and do the walk so let's go and find out. So here we are at the Golf, uh, sorry, at the Hotel Palma Nova, and it's just uh, just turned 10 to 10. So we've got quite an early morning walk, but the, the temperatures are going up now. Um, it's now I can guess it's already 20 degrees. And so normally we'd uh, we go in the opposite direction to the direction I'm walking now. Uh, we go down to the roundabout and then walk down towards the the heart, which is on the beach. But we're just going to circumnavigate, that's a big word for this morning, a circumnavigate. We're just going to go round the, uh, the Hotel uh, Palma Nova and go down to this road which is to the, to the left. Right in front of us is another Globalis Hotel Palma Nova, but this one is the Palma Nova Palace. And uh, that's opened more recently, but it is open now and uh, we're going to go in between the two hotels so we're going to go down to the left and we're going to go past the church here in many of the videos we've walked past the church i've mentioned that uh, anita used to bring her choir here things like easter they used to have a special service for the international community and uh, it's also a place where the bay entertainers are theatrical rehearsals. group used to do their rehearsals there's a, a room in there which uh, Anita used to come regularly to for rehearsals I was just going to cross over but I'm actually going to go on this side a little bit more because we can actually see inside uh, the Hotel Palma Nova just because the fence here is open so they've got some areas people already outside getting the sun And now we've got this big hedge, so I think it's time to cross over. Not really a, an area we, we, uh, we normally walk down this road. I'd say we have done it before, but I've just noticed there's a dentist here. But uh, just behind that big green hedge, that's where the uh, Globalis Palm Nova is. And we're walking down now towards Fantasia Golf, one of the great attractions of uh, Palma Nova, really good, fun, sort of crazy golf I suppose I'd call it in England, but it's um, it's a bit more than just crazy golf, it's, uh, it's there's uh, three different, well there used to be, don't know, still are, three different courses, 18 hole courses, and it's really quite a pleasant walk around, and just like many things here, there's, there's a bar, so you can have a drink, you can have an ice lolly, or whatever. And so uh, on many occasions we've brought our families here. And uh, but not, not for a while, so maybe when they're next year that's uh, something that we could do. Now, I just noticed people going in through a gate at the back, which might be of interest. So this is the pool area. To the... Palmer Hotel and two gentlemen have just walked through a rear gate so maybe you don't need to do that bit of the walk that I've just done um, there's a gate here which has got a button on which uh, I guess opens the gate so press the button and maybe you have to put a card in there that has red so maybe your room card will allow you in there. I don't know how that works, but if you ask in the reception, I'm sure they'll tell you. So actually walking down the road, not many cars. And on the right hand side, this is the rear of the Golf Fantasia. And uh, if we get a little bit closer, might get some views of what it's like inside there. You can see just lots of greenery, 
lots of water actually as well uh, which is quite nice and the the gardens have always been very well manicured so Anita's really happy when she goes in there lots of nice flowers the grass is nicely cut it's all well watered it's just a really a pleasant walk for anyone and a little bit of fun doing the crazy golf actually almost down now to to the beach we're not going to be doing a big walk in Palmanova today um, I did one recently and we're going to be back down here tomorrow uh, because tomorrow is Europe day for us so just to give you a bit of uh, perspective today is actually the 7th of May tomorrow is the 8th of May and it's when uh, here in Calvi we celebrate Europe Day and they do that by having a market they have entertainment um, there's going to be music and dancing and all sorts of things going on all day from about 10 o'clock in the morning till early evening uh, probably nine o'clock at night Izzy who you may have seen on one of our videos when we did the Palmer Boats show she uh, bumped into us we bumped into her um, she's going to be presenting with another friend of ours Carlos so uh, here we are this is the Golf Fantasia it's not open yet it's a bit early in the morning right. opens at 11 o'clock Anita tells me yeah uh, we've got the prices there just in case you're interested so you can do 8, 30, 18, 36 or 54 holes and uh, there's the different tariffs children at the top 8, 50, 10 and 12 adults 13, 50, 16, 50, 18 euros and then there's bars and snacks and drinks and all sorts of things that you can do Good fun for all the family. And, uh, I'll think about that next time. Family are out. So here we are, we're just about just about getting to the beach. One really convenient thing about it is it comes back out right by one of our favourite bars, the Colmena, the beehive. And so uh, on another occasion I'm sure we'd stop for a drink. Got a busy day today though because uh, uh, I want to go do another little video that I've been asked for and so we're going to head back to the car so we're not going to go to the right we're not going to be doing the big walk around Parmanova we're going uh, we're going to head back to the car this way which is counterclockwise I'm full of big words today I don't know what's happened to me um, I'm going to cross over into the sun I'm sure Anita doesn't want to but we're going to got a brolly a parasol the beaches are already being cleaned the sun is sparkling and uh, you see here on the road they're actually marking out where all the stalls are going to be tomorrow um, we're usually up near to the uh, McDonald's side so a little bit further in front of sea rose for those of you already know volleyball nets that's not normal on this part of the beach but there's loads of volleyball nets already out so uh, looks like we're gonna have some competitions on today just coming up to the can blank which is already got people having their early morning drinks Lifeguard's uh, just taking up his station here on the beach and he's just about to hoist a green flag which means it's all good and safe for people to go swimming. The sea looks calm, there's water skiers already out there. I made a video uh, which I haven't yet posted of um, Anita's garden so that'll be coming soon. My lavender's like this and, next time. Uh, <laughs> one of the things that she's growing is uh, lavender 
and here's a beautiful lavender patch and as you walk past it you, you've got the smell of the lavender so you can see here there's uh, all the things which are going to be used tomorrow for the Europe Day celebrations there's no stage set up yet that will normally be in front of us now all the roads will be cut off here and uh, there'll be live entertainment so there's a big generator being set up there's more volleyball nets so looks like a big volleyball competition on we're just going to cross over the road here and uh, make our way back to the car Trees here. Nita likes these trees. This is Mai Thai. This is one of the restaurants we go to quite frequently. If you like Thai food, but uh, they've got some lovely angels trumpets. See, I nearly knew that. And also the hibiscus. Oh, I'm doing well today. And another angels trumpet, which. Uh, Looks like some of the flowers are feeling the heat. Heat is getting warmer. It's um, getting towards the, the mid twenties, looking at the weather forecast for the whole week. And it's all sun, sun, sun all the way. Uh, we might have a little bit of cloud, no rain's being forecast. Uh, just sunshine and temperatures in the mid twenties. Lows at night, about 16, so. That's quite pleasant. Um, as we get towards the, the real summer, then it becomes uncomfortable at night because the temperatures just don't go down that much. And I was asked to walk more on this road so people can see the shops and we're actually walking in a, sort of the opposite direction that we would normally walk when we're coming to Palmer and Everse things do tend to look a little bit different but this road will also parts of this road will also be cut off so i can already see they've got the signs ready here no entry signs and uh, i've got to come down early so as i can uh, drop off my books which we'll have on the stall uh, people will be able to give us donations for our charities um, I'll be with the Leo Club, which is part of the Lions, and just across the road there, uh, the Lions Club of Costa de Calvia is across the road. They've got a shop there where they sell uh, all sorts of things. It's just like a, a typical high street charity shop that you'd find in the UK, uh, full of all sorts of goodies. I'm always fascinated by them, so when we're in the UK, it's one of the things we, we have a look through um, I always find the charity shops interesting <laughs> and quite often I don't buy anything from them. more often than not um, every now and again I do so the time is just after 10 o'clock about five past ten It's already getting quite warm. 27 degrees, the, the uh, thermometer in front of me at the pharmacy. If they have, uh, yeah, see if they've got a, a New York bulletin. So we get a lot of our news from the, the New York bulletin, which has now changed to a weekly edition. So as of over a week ago the Mallorca Bulletin instead of being a daily bulletin it's always been known as the Mallorca Daily Bulletin uh, it is now the Mallorca Bulletin so Anita's just going to get the coffee how much is it two, two euros and it's uh, it's great uh, for us to catch up with some local news particularly what's on events uh, I do find it really difficult to find out what's going on in Mallorca. I'm sure many of you do too. Um, <clears throat> usually, 
find out about a lot of things after the event and really we need to we need to know um, before the event so hopefully the New Yorker bulletin now uh, will be able to give us a bit of a an idea of what's going to be coming on during the next week Palmer stamping but something put on your t-shirt you have heard me say that that used to be my business uh, before I went back into teaching 10 years ago so uh, I used to put logos on shirts things like that so more or less back to where the car is and uh, and where the Hotel Global is, Palmanova is, which is just up the road in front of us. So just a quick circular tour, just so that Jackie has got an idea of uh, how far it is from the Hotel Global is down to the seafront. And now we've done it in both directions. I think I am, if I was staying at the hotel, probably would use that back gate and uh, it's really then a very short walk down to the beach um, rather than going this way unless you particularly want to go and see the shops and you need to go to the pharmacy there is a supermarket down there an Eroski supermarket a little bit of news is Sam um, bit of history really. The Eroski supermarket used to be called SIP, S-Y-P, Sibithio y Prethio is what it was, and it was owned, or founded by a man named Laval, and uh, he sold it to Eroski, which is uh, a company from the Basque, country, uh, Basque country in the north of Spain, for 90 million euros, and then r rapidly lost just about all of his fortune and ended up jumping off a cliff committing suicide the reason it's in the news at the moment is because there was a boat a yacht luxury yacht and uh, his son must have had some dealings with that yacht and uh, he was being prosecuted for uh, fraud or tax evasion not quite sure you to read about that but uh, it's been in the news recently but how do you lose 90 million euros so quickly? I've never had such a fortune, never <laughs> expecting to get such a fortune. Uh, we did the lottery last night and didn't get one single number. Not one number. You, must, you should get a prize for that. <laughs> and it will be out there getting another ticket. So here we are, back at the car park where we started well more or less where we started so thank you very much for watching hope jackie that's been of help to you and uh and anybody else who's staying at the uh globalis palmanova or the globalis palmanova palace give you an idea just how easy it is just to get down to the front so thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye for now bye